Coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, where dreams are made and fame is just a boot scoot away. It's the Nashville Entertainment Weekly Show, the new show with your host, TJ Gates. Hey guys, I'm Krista Graham. How are you? We're live at Nashville Film Festival. I'm waiting for my host, who's supposed to be interviewing me, who's saying goodbye to a friend. We're here talking to Krista Graham at the Nashville Film Festival. How are you doing, Krista? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. So I just saw your movie. I was pretty impressed with your talent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's not my movie. Um, the fabulous Charlotte Glynn is the director of this beautiful film called The Immaculate Reception. And um, I, I played the cousin, and I was very blessed to play that role. And my friend Jess Paul and Adrian Weir and um, Dima, they played the leads, and they were awesome. So... Where did you film that at? Because it looked like it was up in Michigan or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, we filmed in Pittsburgh, oh, so you're kind of close, yeah, it's in in the Rust Belt, you know, as opposed to the Bible Belt. <laughs> um, yeah, so we actually we filmed like right next door to my house, kind of, which was cool, like a couple streets down in yeah. Pittsburgh. It was really. Fun. It had a really good feel to it. The movie, it, it's kind of like the movie uh, Rudy. If you ever watched that, maybe sort of like that area and the kind of depressed little area. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, the film really captures the spirit of that day and the very famous Steeler game and, you know, obviously that that play, The Immaculate Reception. And I think also like our art department was amazing. Was really good. The wardrobe was really good because I was looking for I was looking for flaws and I saw none. Yeah, the, the wardrobe was fabulous. Um, the makeup, hey Krista G, um, she was great. And our other girl, Anna, um, just made everybody look beautiful. And the costumes and the lighting mm -hmm. and even just the house itself. And it, was inside, it seems like that would be a challenge because the house was really dark. It was an actual house. <laughs> yes. But they didn't have it as dark. They had it where it looked dark, but you knew it was because you're shooting a film? Yeah, because, you know... Um, I didn't see any shadows. They were really good. They yeah, really good. yeah. Art and lighting was great, and um, our director of photography, Greta, was fabulous. Um, you know, and really trying to make it look like that picture of what it was like so to be in Pittsburgh the in the 1970s. Yeah, 1972. Yeah. I was in the 70s, and that's kind of... It's a long time ago. Yeah? I remember... I don't know anything of, about well, the No, I'm kidding. I love the 70s, kind of but no, I wasn't alive no, then, so... Alive, but... <laughs> okay. All right, now you have a couple films that are coming up. There's a movie that we did together called Lies of Lonely. Yeah, um, I worked on that, which was a lot of fun. And um, I also just wrapped this little film called The Other by Jade Sprinkle. It's like a psychological horror. And, um, you know, it was a Watkins film, and that was wonderful. So hopefully, you know, I'm aiming for two years back to back here. So we'll see. <laughs> I think you have it. All right, well, thanks for talking to us, yeah, Ms. Krista. Thank you so much for see having me, TJ. Thank you. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Let's go. He ain't got your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip from his chin. He ain't no.